This is Twit. Bra- Brave. The browser Brave has added <gasps> support. See, I yeah. knew this would cheer you up. For the Interplanetary File System, IPFS. IPFS. What is IPFS, so, Stacey? Um, it powers the distributed web. Um, it, it's just a peer-to-peer uh, data sharing storage protocol. So it's it's like peer-to-peer, what do we say, DNS? I mean, it's but it's also has, it's not just where to, it's where to store stuff, where to find stuff. Um, and I'll tell you the, the I'll tell you the, the value dumbed down version I heard was like BitTorrent. In some countries, yeah. for instance, <laughs> uh, Wikipedia is blocked, right? Because you might read about Tiananmen Square or Falun Gong or something like that. Right. So there is an IPFS version of Wikipedia that cannot be blocked. Yeah, you store oh. it locally, and people can find it if they're running running the and application. If you, yeah, if you're using uh, an IPFS enabled application, you could find it. And now Brave, the Brave browser, is one of them. So you could enter IPFS uh, colon slash slash instead of HTTP colon slash slash. And uh, I guess it would be Wikipedia.org. I'm not sure what follows that. So because um, by the way, in Turkey, they're blocking Wikipedia. They have for years. So that would be a good example is- of that. I every ten years I get so excited. I'm like, now we're gonna have a really distributed web. I I, I seriously do, and so I feel like I, I'm cautiously optimistic that this may be the moment we have both the technology, we have the political impetus, we have tech savvy people maybe out there, and we have a backlash against the big platforms. Do we have the so business perhaps- models? Well, I, I, I hope you're right. I'm just wondering about no, that. No, that's, do we... that's the question. So the question, I mean, you get you get smaller companies trying to differentiate themselves. Do I ever think, how does it tip over into the mainstream? Once you get to the mainstream, then it gets kind of corrupted for business models. And I and I don't mean, I mean, that's, that's what happened to the internet itself, right? So then I think you move to something else. Um, so no one uses like Napster or BitTorrent really much anymore. Uh, and the reason is because people saw the light and they moved their official content into places that made it more easy and accessible for people who wanted to get it to get it in a way that was almost what they wanted, right? They just had to pay, but not as much as they used to. So I think that kind of always happens, but I, I think we're ready for that in a much more wide widely I would love a far more federated architecture to so many things, yes. Well, and as Ant said, it's like BitTorrent. With BitTorrent, uh, many people can host content and you can download it from slices from a bunch of different people. That's exactly how IPFS works. So yep. you don't have to go to wikipedia.org to get your copy of Wikipedia. Pe- many, many people may be hosting snapshots of it uh, and then you can... And potentially get it faster on your side. It might even be faster. That's, you know, certainly BitTorrent. That was the promise. That's how we distributed our shows before we got a, a CDN, before we got Cashfly. We used BitTorrent. Well, it's also the hope I have for at Jack's Blue Sky. Well, is that is that you add, is it if you, it, like WordPress, if you have a, a an open uh, software layer, even an open data layer, then you add value on top of that. That's a better model. Uh, I think, you know, something like that exists already for Twitter. That's Mastodon. And again, I'll just give a big plug for twit.social because it's exactly how it works. It's federated. You know, uh, one of the advantages and disadvantages is anybody can make a Mastodon instance. So there's a Gab Mastodon. Gab is on Mastodon. But I, as a host of a Mastodon instance, can block it. I, you know, I don't want any Nazis on my uh, using my, uh, so, my, my twit.social, so I just block it. Um, so you have you every individual has control over what they see and what they don't see. Just like Twitter, you can follow anybody on any other Mastodon server unless that server is blocked. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's exactly what Twitter will never do because the reason you're not going to see Twitter do that is because it undermines their entire advertising business. Right? There is no business anymore if Twitter doesn't control it. So mm. that's why you need a central Twitter site as opposed to distributed Twitter sites. So I don't know how committed Jack is to that. Do you know any more about that, Jeff? Is have you? Heard uh, no, I think he's mentioned it again recently, and 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 I, I think it it uh, what excites me about it isn't just the technical end of it. It's relooking at where the value is, 
And this goes to the, to the discussion earlier about Twitter and, 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 and social media and so on. And Corey, <clears throat> if, if to my mind, the value is not going to be in hosting people talking. That's commodified already. Right. Too much of it already, right? Right. The value is in finding that which is worth listening to. And you you can you can subscribe to a service that finds you good people. I'm going to subscribe to a different service that finds me people. Um, and then I'll yell at you that your service isn't good enough because you're still complaining. And then the discussion is on a different plane, right? So I'm 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 then paying for the value of um, maybe it's verification, maybe it's 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 uh, of people or facts or or things. Maybe it's curation. Maybe it's it's not unlike David Rumnick of the New Yorker finds the good writers. Who finds the good tweeters? Is there value in that? Right? And that to me is where it gets interesting. That's why I asked Stacey about the business model piece. Because once you get into a federated world, uh, you know, WordPress has, <clears throat> what is it, a third of the whole web. Um, but it's just a platform. And the value isn't in that. The value is at a higher level of service, of, of curation, of creation. That's what I want to oh. see us get to. Yes, but as you start doing those things and people become reliant on them, they become the next platform. That is that is technology in a nutshell, right? Ever Every thus. layer of abstraction gets yeah, but but when it's but 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 you have the, the opportunity, don't you, Stacey, then to have to go into Corey and 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 um what's his name? Who's our boss here? Leo's point. Uh <laughs> me? You that. forgot me already? Yeah, I forgot you for a second. <laughs> yeah. I try. I try. Um uh you go to their point earlier of if you had more choices. And so I don't so think you end up with a, one chooser of okay. the best of Twitter. I think you end but up with multiple with, choosers. But with tech, unlike with like choices in like shopping, um, think about it. Like if I'm shopping for food and I need, I'm making a recipe for something and I need a can of tomatoes, I could buy any number of tomatoes. And I think you would like your, your platforms to be like that. But in tech, what happens is if I'm choosing a recipe and it come what what happens is I end up choosing and integrating my stuff to other things to make a bigger service or more value, right? And then suddenly my tomatoes become linked to the type of cheese I use and all of this because of this is a really stretched analogy. Yeah, you're, but the you're point going is, go ahead. <laughs> I, I'm starting. I'm starting. It's it's not as interchangeable in tech because you have to tie so many things together. And that's but here's like, my argument. I don't think it's tech, Stacey. It is right. tech. So, so, so like look at WordPress. Hold it, hold it, hold on. Let me finish okay. my thing. Let me give please, you a tech please, analogy. Please. My okay. my blog runs on WordPress. My podcast blog runs on WordPress. Mm -hmm. I have a service that I syndicate or that that hosts my podcast. And then I use a syndication service that pulls my podcast to my blog and then also syndicates it to all the RSS feeders. If I change not WordPress. Well, if I change WordPress, I have to change a bunch of other things down the line. So it's harder. It's less fun to do. And if I change maybe one of the many uh, podcast syndication or link services on WordPress, I then have to go change it elsewhere. And it, it is still very complicated. So the network effects, the integrations all make it very hard to switch. It's not prohibitive, but well, it is prohibitive, but it's not the end it's of the world, the, and I can't do okay, it. Okay, so let me just look at it the other. I, I take your I take your point from the creator end, from the public end, right? Because I, I helped start Epicurious back in the day. Mm -hmm. right? We thought we've got gourmet, we got Bon App, we got all the recipes you could possibly want. Who could possibly compete with this? Bingo! All recipes, you know, bingo! Tons and tons and tons of services, because recipes. Uh, I, we thought our gourmet recipes were valuable. What actually made them valuable was the public coming in and improving them. Hmm. Um, and the, and uh, the layer of value changed immensely. I'd say those recipes are way too complicated. No one wants those. All recipes are like, dump a can of soup on some pasta, put it in the oven. Well, <laughs> that's why all recipes succeeded. Yes, exactly. Right. Simplify. Uh, but that's actually a really interesting point. So there's an effort right now. Like recipes are one of those weird places on the web that are incredibly stagnant because – there's not a like an a HTML or an XML for recipes, right? We don't have we don't have a standard for that. So I can yeah. only get my recipes on like the internet, right? I can't pull them other places like my fridge or my oven or my even Google Assistant very easily because or your June oven, right? Yeah, right. You weren't here because when we talked exist. about that being purchased by uh, Weber. I'm very excited. You still. think that's a good thing? Yeah. I do. Uh, the Weber guys built. They they've used Juno OS really well, and nice. they I've met I've met their okay. I talked to the Weber folks about good to hear. 
what they're doing. So yeah, yeah I'm really actually okay I, with I, I really wanted to get your take on that, so I'm glad you mentioned now that. Now you have it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt, but I wanted to. No, 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 no. I mean, that was, that's the point. 